for Mike, uh, tonight it just seemed like everything was clicking for you guys, which un unfortunately has been something that hasn't been very consistent for you guys. But when things are clicking that well and things are, are really – continuing to fall your way how do you keep your your young teammates focused and, and get them to not let up um I, I wouldn't say that we haven't been consistent because we just started off like there's no when it wasn't there it wasn't really there at all you know so there's it's hard to get consistency when it's not there but uh we we've, we've really built up to this point we've gotten better and um man we just we got a lot of young talent on this team a lot of, a lot of really good, really good young players i mean on offense and defense, and uh, they've taken pride in learning and growing, and uh, this, this is this is really fun to be a part of. And then just for you tonight to look back, and I know we've talked about you know the similarities between last year and this year, and playing TCU again after this whole crazy year. But looking back at it all, to be able to get that same result and find yourself in the same situation, but this time you know you're going to get to play tomorrow. How, what are your emotions right now? Um, excitement. I'm very excited to play tomorrow. Um, you know, this is like, as a basketball player, this is what you dream of, March Madness. I mean, we're about to play probably the best team in the country in the Big 12 tournament tomorrow. So this is very exciting. Um, we're we're going to uh, take prepare tonight and tomorrow morning, see what the coaches have to say, and uh, we're going to be ready to play tomorrow. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, next question to Callis Robinette. Hey, Mike. I got three quick ones for you. But first off, congrats on the win. Um, first off, you've been a part of some some March, you know, a special March moments with this team, with with previous teams. Does this feel like that at all? That you're playing that well? Um, yeah, I mean, any, any win, any win in a tournament situation is is big in this in this country in this conference. Um, it's big, and uh, it's exciting. It's something you can't take for granted in life. And uh, so, this is fun, and um, we're just looking to move forward and uh, do what we can to get the win tomorrow. And second, what was what did you think of the atmosphere tonight? It's quite a bit different than what you've seen, but did it feel like the Big Twelve tournament? How would you assess it? You know, it, it's like it did feel different. I can't lie. It felt different out there. Uh, not not too many fans. Uh, rather quiet, but uh, you know it had that Big Twelve tournament intensity out there, and um, that's what's most important. And uh, we're grateful to be able to play and have this opportunity. And we had a lot of fun tonight. And just looking ahead tomorrow, Baylor is a team that had its way with you twice this year. What's it going to take to close that gap and compete with them? Yeah, I mean, um, we've we've we're a much improved team since then, and uh, it's we're gonna be locking in on a scout report, uh, listen to what the coaches have to say, listen to the game plan, and going out there and competing. And uh, we've really picked up our defense, and um, that's what's really been our our mainstay since we we've got going. So uh, we're gonna uh, fall back on our defense, be ready to play on defense, and uh, do what we can to get that win tomorrow. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Mike, just how long had it felt like it had been since you guys have won a game that comfortably and in that kind of fashion? <laughs> you know, I was I, I, I did think about that. It's, it's been a while. I don't know if we had one like that all year, to be honest, like all year. Um, so it has been a while. But, uh, you know, it's just a testament to the hard work we've put in. But uh, now we're just focused on tomorrow now. Uh, today, tonight is behind us now. And, uh, we got Baylor ahead of us. How different do you feel like this team is right now than the one that lost by 48 in Waco the last time we saw? Um, a lot different, but uh, talking about it isn't isn't going to do much. All we can do is do, do, and uh, be about action tomorrow, and that's what we're going to do. Appreciate it, Mike. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Mike, you mentioned the defense. What 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 was it that lit the fuse on you guys tonight? Um, I think uh, in our previous matchups and over the previous years, we we sort of uh, figured out how to how to how to contain TCU's offense. And um, shout out to Coach Southwell, great scout, and um, he gave us the game plan and everything we had to do. And um, 
we did mess up a few times on some switches in the first half, little things. We could have even been better. And um, But still, we did a great job tonight and uh, looking to carry that forward. Did y'all run some specific plays out of halftime that uh, got you loose and got you to the rim on two different occasions? Um, we're just we're just out there playing basketball, you know. Uh, every any like there's not, a play isn't really necessarily for one person. It's for everybody because you never know what's gonna happen, and um, you don't never know when the ball's gonna be swung to you, what position you'll be in. So, uh, really, I was just the beneficiary of some good passes, some good plays, and uh, we kept executing, kept getting into our next action, and uh, that's what happened. What has been your mantra, your consistent message to these guys, that you, these young guys that you've given, you feel like you're given on a day-to-day or week-to-week basis? Man, I mean, just stay positive and um, have fun, keep improving. Uh, that's, what, that's what we've been doing. And um, it's just being confident. I mean, we can play with anybody. I, I truly feel that. And uh, these guys are starting to truly feel that too. And um, tomorrow we're going to do our best to show that. And we will. How long has it taken that? confidence to kind of start really manifest itself um you know I've, I've been i've been telling you guys all year uh we 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 were falling short a lot and we we're improving and uh we had to go through a, a tough journey to get to this point and um along the way we we felt we started to feel it more and more through every game we got better every, every in every game uh so to this point we've gotten better and we're going to try to continue to get better in this tournament Thanks, Mike. Nice ball game. Thank you. Next question to Ryan Black. Okay. Oh, you hear me, Mike? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wanted to ask, what uh, what did it feel like there during that 16-0 run that ended the first half and then started there in the second with your three-pointer and then your three-point play? I like it. Felt like playing basketball the right way, you know. Um, Playing hard, playing the right way, sharing the ball, playing good defense, talking to each other, and having fun. And uh, that's what we're doing, and we're going to look to carry that forward. Mike, you know, something that, that uh, Coach Ward brought up when we talked in the preview of this game was just how uh, time in and time out when you and TCU play, it's usually a close game. So were you a little bit surprised just by the margin of victory for you guys in that regard? Um, I'm I'm not too surprised. I mean, uh, in all honesty, we've been getting better. You know? uh, tonight we were able to show that we've gotten better. And um, TCU, TCU uh, they're they're a good ball team, and uh, they got they're well coached. But uh, we've made a lot of strides, and, I, and uh, I'm not surprised at all by how we we're able to beat them tonight. Hey, thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we'll do one last question for Mike to kill us, and then we'll get Nigel on. Yeah, Mike, I can't let you get out of here without telling me what happened on that block. Walk me through <laughs> Uh, You know, it, it was my help. And, uh, you know, usually I'm in there to try to take a charge or something. But, you know, I'll just – he laid it up. I was like – I didn't feel like – I felt like I could block it. So I just went up there as high as I could, shot it, block it, and I did. Appreciate you.